turn to pick. Welcome back, Twitch! Merry Christmas to you all! Game number two, VG Gaming versus DK in the Feng Yun Corp. And VG Gaming, well, they got crushed in game one by the zoo. And, well, DK, they look to do it again, but VG Gaming, they got the boss, man. They got the bristle boss, RTK, in his comfort zone. But the problem is. Will there be enough pure Ten damage coming up from DK? Remaining. Do we go for something uh, like what Power Rangers did to Na'Vi? Uh, pick up the Bane Elemental in, in, in the form of, well, with the form of pure damage on their side. Maybe have a Tinker as well. Silver Soul, one of the biggest counters to Bristleback, of course, has been banned out uh, by VG Gaming. Very, very obvious. Now, by banning out DK's Alchemist and Visage, they do give Bristleback um, to VG's side. So ROTK going to play on his favorite hero for now. And Nyx Assassin is going to be the first pick up here. Probably a Mushi Assassin, so we'll see. <clears throat> but Peachy Gaming, that long drawn out loss, you could say it was kind of strategic from DK. It does wear your opponent down. They know they're going to lose, but they just have to keep on fighting in a little bit of glimmer remaining. of a hope that they might turn it around. And now OD, Mushi looks to be showing them Dire how it's done. Pick. And well, you can't blame him. Mushi. His OD is one of the best, but it could be a burning OD, but Mushi's OD is a nasty OD. And that's the pure damage we're looking for. Bristleback, on the other hand, we'll have to see if he can actually contend with this outhouse decorator. Meanwhile, Nyx Assassin. It's gonna be pretty good as well. Burning his mana early on, it really does cripple Bristleback's ability to cast as many remaining. quills. Although he has a great intelligence game, but still. We're still back on our TK. Who are your rares on VG Gaming? Let's go check out. Dire team. Okay, band. let's go check out. The, um, let's go check out Total Two Lounge. We'll see how much the betting is for DK versus VG Gaming. DK sixty-two percent, VG thirty-eight. So easy rares, VG Game fanboys. <laughs> DK's turn to ban. But it's gonna be a good amount of rares coming out for the VG fans as well if DK does win. So no, if DK does drop the games, two games in a row. So we'll see if that happens. It could happen. And Chen is going to be the pickup here by BG Gaming. They want to go for a little bit of healy stuff, and we'll see if they go for more Five intelligence heroes, remaining. just the way that DK went for. Bristleback has a high intelligence gain, so he's not really as affected by Outworld Devourer. I say that it's still powerful, but it's less powerful. And now Luna is going to Dire receive the ban hammer. And Chantress herself going to be banned out so that, well, Chen will not have any kind of competition. Lanham. Lanham is going to be uh, removed from one of his best heroes. Maybe an Earthshaker could be coming out here. Earthshaker, one of Lanham's signature heroes with the remaining. big blocks, with LD's very, very classic get dunked full Five scene. Very, 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 very well done by Lanham. And was it Lanham? I think it was Reserve Lanham Shaker. Time. Yeah, it should be Lanham Shaker. <clears throat> Could be wrong, but I really feel that the game needs another jungler uh, like Chen and Enchantress just to make it a little bit more cool. But I think Ice Frog might DK's not want to add it, might mess ban. up the ecosystem a little bit, mess up the drafting. But we'll see. Crystal Maiden will be the fourth ban out here. Crystal Maiden is a good hero. Carry Master, that's what CM means. And. But Vici Gaming! ROTK, I Ten really want to see some big remaining. plays out of him. I love watching him because he's just a source of great enjoyment Five and laughter. Remaining. And laughter is good and bad. We are laughing with him, not laughing at him. Return of the King, that's what ROTK means. DK's turn and to DK, pick. third pickup coming up for them. We'll see what they want to go for. They ban out the Puckner, they don't want to deal with that. OD doesn't want to deal with that. And. Do we give Ice 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 his Invoker again? Is the question. That's pure damage on the line as well, the Sun Strike. That's gonna be able to blow some fools up. And Ice 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 played a solid invoker last game. Not too flashy, just a safe down the road, uh, down the road kind of hero. Just push and crush all the remaining. opposition. We'll see if they do that again. They really need some anti push because Five of this Chen uh, being a nuisance here. Will they go for Red Master uh, 2000, known as Nature's Prophet, or Reserve will they go time. something else? Maybe a Tinker. See, maybe a Tinker, but. Mushi's already playing the OD. I guess Ice 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 could play it, but I don't think he likes to do it as much. So we'll see how much um, how much he can actually play it out. So a minute left on that extra time. It should be Mushi drafting. I don't know who said Ice 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 was drafting the last game. So well, so we'll see. DK DK is Ice 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 for you guys that are, that are asking. 
MMY Tinker? I have not seen him, actually. Ah, there we go. Bulldog. The Bulldog favorite hero. It's gonna be the Nature's Prophet. Nature's Prophet coming out here. Is it a burning Nature's Prophet or is it Ice Ice Nature's Prophet? We shall see. We shall see if it's gonna be Nature's Prophet and uh, for Ice 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 or is it gonna be burning? Because, like I said, DK is a very, very, very nasty team to deal with because they are very flexible. You don't really know when they're gonna play stuff. It's like, oh, well, we have Bushi in support then. Um, the only other team remaining. I see doing this is probably Navi, and that one time they did it. Five when when Havos went on the support role, when he got demoted, was when he exploited his number four privileges a little bit too Reserve much. Time. And of course, he had some severe lag issues, I think. I think. I think that was the reason why they switched him to support role, but still, Nature's Prophet. What's it gonna be here? Uh, Nature's Prophet, OD, Nyx Assassin. I can't say I prove for the Nature's Prophet. I mean, red heroes are never nice to cast. But then again, DK, they play this red to a very aggressive style, which makes it okay. We don't want some. Uh, we don't want some Sandshrew, through. We want some Radicate, You know, landing those Hyperfangs, Pokemon DK's references here and there. Sandshrew is more of a kind of a weenie hero. You know, rolls up into a ball, hides in the sand. But Radicate, he's more of the get in your face with the Super Fang, Hyper Fang kind of stuff. So you run more of those kind of rats compared to the Sandshrew kind of rats. And Rubik is going to be a pickup here for VG Gaming. Rubik is kind of a um, bad hero when it comes to solo supporting because he has some kind of. Yeah, it's kind of a problem when he goes for some kind of solo uh, solo supporting because remaining. he doesn't really do that much. He doesn't have a lot of burst. He doesn't have that. He has a great disable, Five but he doesn't really have remaining. a lot of burst. So it's kind of weird. The Chen will have to gank early if they want to get and we have the Vanomancer. So Vanomancer will be coming out here. Is it? I think it's a support Nyx in this case. So it's a support Nyx assassin. I'm not so sure if it's Lanham or M and Y to be taking it up. These two guys they switch up roles from time to time. So. We'll see if they do actually um, pick up the Vano or the Nyx Assassin for MMY slash Lanham. And now it just leaves us with Burning's Hero and Ice Assassin's Hero. I mean, might as well finish up the red, pick up an Anti-Mage. Ten seconds remaining. It could very well happen. They don't really have a lot of Anti-Push so far. So Book Strats Five would probably end remaining. them. So Anti-Mage, maybe not that bad. Uh, not, that, not that bad. But VG Gaming. Time. We'll pick up a Lone Druid. Alright, Lone Druid DK's is gonna go to, to Scylla. Yeah, Scylla's Lone Druid is gonna be the play here. It could be super middle with it, but I don't see him playing that. I don't think he plays it. Probably not playing Lone Druid, but I guess these Chinese players could play stuff as well. So we'll have to see. Ten There's gonna be remaining. one more ban from each team, and we'll see if they do ban out the hard carry, thinking Five it will be uh, Burning's Hero, or will they ban out something that's gonna be Ice Ice Ice? Are they gonna be ban out the Invoker? Did they give him time. enough trouble? We'll see. Haska, yes, Haska could be a possible pickup. I see Haska calls out here from the chat. Yes, Haska would be really fun. We need Naga and Moff. Shame on you, son. Have you ever said that in the chat? And Beachy Gaming. We'll see if they do um, decide to ban it out, or will they ban out a hard carry here? We'll see. I think it's going to be Ice Ice and Prophet. Burning has already given the chance. Has been given the chance to show off his mushroom set. So we'll see. All the red heroes in the world unite. It's going to be Red Gaming. And remember the load the remaining. intermission screen uh, you guys saw earlier. Yeah. Designed it specifically for this tournament. Dying Razor yeah, is going to be the last ban out here. So they don't really want OD getting some trouble in the middle lane. They have to ban out the mid hero. So this opens up some opportunities like Puck, Queen of Pain. But Outworld Devourer still really craps on those heroes. So maybe a Viper instead. So Viper is pretty nasty, pretty tanky as well. And a lot of the heroes on DK remaining. really can't do that much good against it. But really, the thing about OD Five is he remaining. really isn't Gary if you just stay on the higher ground, have a magic stick, time your time your hits as well. So they ban out Invoker. They're like, nope, DK's Ice Ice Sides, nope. No Sphery Balls for you. You are gonna play a hero with four spells. And four spells it will be OD. Yeah, the thing about OD is you really don't really have to fear him that much. You don't overextend, don't get over banished. Just keep your distance. Don't pick an Intelligence hero against him. You usually can do okay. You won't be great, but you'll be okay. And one hero that can go pretty okay is of course Dragon Knight. 
and there's another hero that can go pretty okay. It's also a Kunkka, remaining. and those those two heroes actually fit pretty well. The Kunkka especially will Five give a lot of tank ability remaining. to Bristleback. Give it to Lone Druid, just so good for him because it makes them really hard to kill. And Reserve DK time. don't really have a lot Five of buffs. To be honest, they have a lot of DPS. They have a lot of stuff. And there we go, Gyrocopter. So they will have that for burning. And uh, Nature's Prophet will go to Ice Age So four skills it will be for Daryl and BG Gaming. What's going to be their solo mid of choice? Is it going to be the Strength variant, or is it going to be the Viper, or is it going to be something just sacked in the middle lane? Alchemist is banned, so it won't have any of that. So mostly Viper, more probably a Viper, Kunkka, or... What did I say just now? Viper, Kunkka... Ten seconds yeah, remaining. DK, yes, Dragon Knight. Dragon Knight is one of Super's favorite heroes, so it might Five be... Five seconds well, remaining. Well, even if it's not his favorite, it's one of the heroes he plays a lot, so... I hear Huska, but Reserve I time. doubt it. I doubt it. I doubt it. Gyrocopter, gyrocopter. Okay, it's a gyrocopter, guys. We live in different parts of the world. It doesn't matter. I will switch it up from time to time just to annoy everyone. Alright. So, gyrocopter, gyrocopter. But really, um, when I say one, the other, the other side gets angry. So, it's like saying football, soccer real football, real soccer, you know, stuff like that. So, well, it doesn't really matter, it's still Gyrocopter. He's gonna be old guy with wings. How's that sound? Sounds better? Nope, Storm Sprint! Oh, wow, they are stacking super really play. hard here. Alright, so Mushi! <clears throat> Mushi! It's gonna go against Storm Spirit here, and maybe they bait this out. They bring side. they put Sila in the middle lane, they bait Mushi to the mid. I'm just theory crafting here. They bait Mushi middle, they bring Sila against him, and they pound him with the bear. Pound him hard with the bear. And then they bring Super to the side lanes to get some farm. And get up his quick orchid. And then they look to shut down Heroes. Storm Spirit, great choice against Isaac Size on that Red Prophet. And it's gonna be good against heroes like MMY, who really can't escape from anything without stuns. Only one really solid stun on Nyx Assassin. So I would think that Storm Spirit is pretty good, apart from the laning phase. 10 seconds remaining. All right, we're gonna see how well VG Gaming plays this out. DK versus VG Gaming. Five seconds Pretty remaining. big matchup for today. VG Gaming not gonna be disappointing. I feel. Hopefully they won't be disappointing. And now we jump into the game. And yep. All right, on the side of the Radiant. This time DK will be populating them. And uh, Mushi is gonna be on the Outworld Devourer, Outhouse Prepare Decorator. MMY is on the Venomancer. Burning is on the Gyrocopter. Gyrocopter. Happy now. Latum is gonna be on the Nyx Assassin. And of course, it's gonna be Ice Age Size playing Nature's Prophet, old school, not much cosmetics, just all the standard stuff you get from betting rares and commons, and of course, the Cypher Vice, worth a lot of money. Vici Gaming on the dire side. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, Vici Gaming on the dire side, it will be super. Yep, they are going safe lane Storm Spirit. They are baiting the heck out of Mushi. This is a solo mid Lone Druid. Super is gonna go on the side lanes. Fenrir on Chen, FY on the Rubik, and we have ROTK. My man on that on that bristle pack. So Admiral Frenzy, Admiral Frenzy, Admiral Frenzy, Admiral, Admiral Frenzy. Show those spikes off in style. Make them see green before they're soaked in red. Good for mining, great for punching. Can't say I disagree. You know how it goes. You meet some people who would like to fight. You fight them and you keep the best bits for yourself. Well, a brickly back might be great for a fight, but down in an Admiral mine, you need a hard hit too. So always wear a hard hat guys, safety regulations, and we are going to have a little bit of a brawl coming on here. Bristleback with the sentry wards even, uh, looking to deward some of the, probably not dewarding, but more of uh, more of the blocking camps for the first 3 minutes. Really important, and wow, they, they were actually suspecting suspect, uh, suspecting a level 1 Roshan. But just a cursory glance, they are not going to be suspecting anything, and Storm Street really doesn't want to show the lanes here. We'll see if Mushi has actually, yes, Mushi has not responded to this, so he will face Sila in the middle lane. And really ba great bait out here from VG Gaming, so called it! Called it! Haha, <laughs> Bako! How'd you doing, buddy? Bako, next on, Courier, one of my favorites. I do like Shagbark the most though, still really one of the Shagbark and Elgato, really two of the friendliest critters you can actually come across. Elgato of course, 8% more win rate according to the stats, 8% more win rate in competitive gaming, so pay the to win begins. is actually a thing guys. Pay to win. Buy Elgato now in the in the stores now, there's a sale, I think it's going for $2.99 in the Steam store, so you can go buy that up. 
Sentry Ward gonna be planted down there, so Lanham actually blocking up some camps here for ROTK. He's gonna block one other camp here. So the small camp, he'll allow you to pull the small camp, but you wanna pull the small camp, yes, you pay for it, and you get uh you will have to you stack up the creep wave. The small camp will get eaten alive um by the creep wave, and you because you can't pull through. Yeah, because you can't pull through you will actually stack up the creep wave for ROTK. So doing a very clever job there. She drops the sentry ward, and where's the other one? No, Nyx Assassin got to come on here. So Venomancer as well as Lanham is going to be able to deal with him now. So Quills on top of Quills, Nyx Assassin will have spike exception. Meanwhile, FY with the double damage. It's just going to push back this, um, push back Ice 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 here on the top lane. Still, it's okay, but it's not that great. It's about 100 per swing. And Super having a great time knowing that he will not face the OD in middle, whereas Mushi will take up that hard roll instead. And we'll have to face the spirit bear. Mushi, Null Talisman on board there for himself. So he has got two last hits on him, and Sila is sitting at a very comfy 5 to 2. So now he's already beating <laughs> Sila. Look with the animation cancel, still gets the last hit. Easy, Sila says, easy. Pull roots and run. Pull roots and run. Mushi. Not having a great time, we'll see how Isaac Sykes is doing. He's sitting at 6 4, 6 for 0. He's doing good, burning at 6 for 4. And see how well he does it. Flat Cannon as well. MMY, he's got Clarity Potion, Tango. Disconnected from the game. Abu the Monkey. That's that's Aladdin's monkey. And oh, at least he got your Dota ticket. FY? Gonna be farming up the tree ends here by Isaac Sykes, but his camp is probably gonna get blocked here, so the pumpkins will sit there. Ha ha! Halloween is not over for you, sucker! And no pulling coming out here because Isaac Sykes, he just blocked every single thing. ROTK with the regeneration, gotta be very happy. Can squill even more. Quill him the foam. <laughs> Such a great pun there. And got that from some other video I watched the other day. I don't remember which one it was, it's called the biggest place ink. But anyway, Fenrir are looking for a little gang with the tomato, but they know that the gang's up because of this Observer Ward. So very well placed there by DK. They're going to dodge one very good gang. And Silver in the middle lane, he will be getting a great amount of last. It's 12 to 5 now, but Burning has exceeded that. 15 to 6, and they're looking to push this tower. ROTK could be in a little bit of trouble. He's going to quill it up. And oh, the guild lands on him. This is a goodbye, ROTK. This is goodbye. Dyer's goodbye, ROTK. ROTK is going to get shot. Burning gets the first blood. Well, well played from him. Nyx Assassin will get him so good kill from MMY, actually clipping him at the end there. So Quills or not, he will get brought down. ROTK is back in the fray here. Doesn't want to get hit by another Gale. Definitely does not want to get hit by another Gale. Oh, that's another Gale. He's going to hit an ROTK. ROTK, well... Well, TP support's gonna come in. Uh, it's gonna be enough. Yeah, the flat cannon will bring him down. Level two is really not good enough. Bristleback is just not strong enough with the level two passive. And 2-0, quick 2-0 coming out here for burning, burning. For once, feeling very, very happy uh, with his early laning situation. And supports as well. MMY has been doing a great job. FY gonna come here, absorb some EXP. ROTK is gonna come back to uh, the lane, Radiant's try and get back some farm. But he's running attack. out of regen, and now Radiant Storm Spirit as well as Chen looking fortified. to push up the top lane, try and recover from some of the early loss here. DK meanwhile has summoned up some Treants. Ice 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 going for face boots profit. None of that mind is nonsense. We are going straight for the right clicking. And now Mushi in a little bit of trouble. The bear is gonna be harassing him back. And this is Animal. Animal Brutality right here, 10 to 5, Mushi getting crushed in the middle lane, 21 to 8, and it's just not a fair matchup for the OD. MMY nearly losing his Clarity Potion there, still not too bad, but it's gonna look for another Gale, and I hear a haste coming out for the Lone Druid, and it's just gonna be able to uh, run the Creep Wave, run at the tree end here, nearly getting the deny here, Ice Ice Ice, but no, tree end actually times out before it gets farmed, so Ice Ice Ice, whether or not it's accidental, he plans for everything, and even Silo just getting a little right click at the end of that, he has roots now, so if Mushi is not careful, you cannot banish the bear, so, you have a lot of trouble if the bear goes ham on you, and you can't click anything, you have to banish yourself, and when you banish yourself, it means the creep wave surrounds you, and you probably get in trouble anyway. Sila, uh, meanwhile, Super has been giving a lot, like, given a lot of space up top, so I really like this laning coming out here, but now, great lift from Ice Ice Ice, gotta get pulled on in, bye bye Ice Ice Ice, chicken, oh. pucks him down, Storm Spirit actually gets that right click, leave. 
lives, nature's profit is just plain gnarly. I'm just gonna keep silent for all the smack talk from the heroes, but the chicken gang does work out for them. And Ice 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 really didn't expect that to come. I think there was a smoke under the ward, or either he was just playing callous, but either way, he is brought down, land him right in the lane here, ready to intercept this creep wave with his impale, with his impale. And will he get it? He probably will, yeah, he gets his impale on. No, no impale at all, he just goes there, gets some EXP, mushy, trying to get some, he kills for a bottle. And that's a very interesting choice to me, I mean, you really don't really want to spam that much on Syla, so I don't see the reason for getting a bottle here. But Mushi, he's going to get what he wants, and he's a great player, he's a pro player, so not going to question him too much. Now, Ice 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 with the push, coming down bomb lane, and oh, ROTK, he really doesn't want to risk a dying against you burning. He has got a one point nasal goo. But Gyrocopter is just a lot of damage. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Dyer's structures and are fortified. Are they going to get the creep? Nope. Gyrocopter gets that. So Dyer's Burning getting all the gold he really fallen. wants. Can't even go for the pup shadow blade here. And Sala block himself with his own bear. Face boots. Yeah, he's got past the face boots over. You can't banish the bear. He's got to pick it up. Eats the rune. Disappears. And the bear's going to laugh his way home. Sala. Gonna pass himself back to face boots. For a moment, I thought he was blocking himself, but nope, he was actually just getting the face boots to his bear so that he can run faster and it's that mushy to the rune there. No, very, very unlucky, no root so far. I think the bottle is just for base regen and uh, might as well there since he's getting a lot of harassment from the bear. Super! He's got three points of electric vortex and uh, one point is static remnant. Dyer's really wants his ultimate, really taking attack. a long time to get his ultimate there. Oh wow, OD, okay, destroys him there. Did really see that coming in there, so finally, mushy gets to. Eliminate the torn in his side. It's three to one. The gold graph going in favor of DK. One thousand five hundred. The null tells as well as the boots. FY. He's gonna farm some creeps here up top. Get some farm. Level five now. Going to be very very close to level six. Super. Finally has his ultimate. He has picked up his threads. Ring of Basilius for pushing Fenrir. The chicken. Fenrir and the chicken burning. Picks up a bracer, so he knows that he can get the early drums, he doesn't really have to play from behind. Get the early drums, get that really good stability going. And once you get that, you can actually go for some really, really good team fights early on. And work towards your BKB the old fashioned way. Fenrir, boots of speed, Sylar, oh Sylar. Gonna say Mushi now, where's the root? Where is your root? And test his faith, he won't get brought down there. Lonju crushes him between the vines. And he will go down and whoop, Mushi getting caught out of position there. Nighttime really shouldn't be crossing the other side. I know you like to exert dominance, but sometimes it just gets you killed. And now 46 last since you're burning on top of that. Three, two kills. Two kills if 32 now. BG Gaming still behind. XP graph pretty even across the board. The Observer what earlier on making do a lot of work. Making sure that they don't get into a lot of trouble. FY gonna get regeneration from ROTK. Gonna be very happy about that. Boots on him. And FY. Who have more spells at his disposal now. He has lost 8 intelligence. That is something, of course, to be worried about. You won't have as many spells, but you can look towards the arcanes. And now with the zip in, Ice 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 has to be very, very careful. 600 HP on him. He is now still going for the Midas. So he's only gone for an early face boots to get that. Early face boots to get the um, right click power for the ganks as well as tower pushes. But now he's decided that he wants to go. He wants to go for uh, the Midas instead. It could be a Maelstrom, but probably not. Sylar, level 6 now. Uh, well, he's got his ultimate, so he could actually be looking at some of that. Denied. Burning. He's got his Bracer. He has his drums very, very soon. Mushi. As his buckler as well, he's going to be doing the max. So Mushi has been taking a lot of the mid support nowadays, if you could coin it that. FY picks up his arcane boots, Super is just going to slowly farm this up, and he has the rope of the Magi going for the silence. So wants to zip in, silence up someone, can silence up the Nyx Assassin, he won't be able to jump into in Vendetta, no spikes, no nonsense, no impale, and of course he won't be able to teleport as Nature's Prophet, so all those good stuff, very very strong. Uh, but Burning, because he's skipping BKB early on for the drums, if you can get the timing, of the orchid off on him as well, you can't get him killed. Um, Sylar, 2000 gold on him. He's gonna have a very, very quick, uh, very quick Radiance radiance. I don't think he's going for the minus just yet. He's gonna be fighting away at OD. And he does get the root on, so this is a lot of damage on Mushi. Mushi's gonna run down. House decorator, not gonna be feeling too comfortable with this. Lanham, no vendetta just yet. So this is a problem. There's a huge smoke here. Try harding in middle. Try harding. Try hard. Waiting for that root. 
Waiting for the root, and here comes Rubik. He's gonna run, 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 and the TP supports comes in. Oh, big stun here for Lanham on the top lane. This is gonna be trouble. Nuclear lung detected. Burnings on the killing spree. Hits the second rocket as well. This is gonna slow ROTK. He's gonna get better. Destroy their sanity. Eclipse goes mad. Sila is gonna chase him down, but Stormfree comes on in. Zips on Burning. Run away! Run away! Burning, run away! No, Burning will not run away. No, he will. He mans up. Burning's gonna run away. Super dropping reload. Good banish here from Mushi. Big plays by Burning will probably drop here. No, he will not. He will miss up the high ground. R and Jesus. Sila is gonna run away, and now Mushi obs him in the face. Triple kill for Mushi. Big plays. Seven to three, and with that big turn of events, well. Burning's just gonna scoot on out. Nick Assassin even blowing up the Chen at the back lines there. Huge stun there from Landon from the high ground. This is, this is what we say, man. DK is a really scary team. Not only are they flexible, they make the plays. They make a, they make all the little sick plays from the support level all the way to the carry. They have all that talent. So it's a really scary team to deal with. Dyer's middle tower and now Isaac Sight's gonna summon up the Trians and I hope to see a DK versus Speed rematch in this tournament. Speed up playing, right? Dyer's structures are fortified. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Mushi, he's got his buckler. With that triple kill, that's an instant mech. Yes, that's an instant mechanism. So mechanism is going to be up for him. Super, going to be hating that 25%. I swear the mid lane high ground is it's worse than two butterflies stacked together. Fallen. You always miss up the high ground in the crucial shots. It always happens. It's like... It's like Ice Rocks trolling with you. And now Dyer's Mushi out of position. Mushi. Attack. Oh, Mushi banishes himself. Nope, he gets banished Radiant's by Rubik. This is, is definitely is gonna attack. die here. He's gonna get stomped. He's gonna get pulled. He's gonna get space tested. And this he's gonna go down. Mushi out of position. And now he just refeeds. If you call it that. Refeeds that back to VG Gaming. So now they're gonna lose the tower as a result of that. No Radiant mech. And they're gonna fort this up. Is Mushi gonna buy back? No, Radiant's he doesn't have the goal. No, yeah, he doesn't have the goal. He finished up his magic wand. Dyer's You're a wizard, Harry. And now let him. Oh wow, double stun. ROTK. Here I am. Gonna be in trouble where Super zips on into Lanham, the nuclear launch. Once again, gonna hit Super, zips right into that FY. He's gonna sacrifice himself there instead. The tower nearly bring down Lanham. Great aggro control from Burning. He's gonna grade that, but ROTK, okay. He's gonna be cooling up this place, and it's gonna be okay so far. Ice 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 just taking all the free pokes he can get at the tower. He has his hand of Midas now, and he's gonna be farming it up. So it's gonna be okay. ROTK. It's level 8 now. Earner Shadows. MMY as well as the rest of the DK squad have grouped up. They're gonna try and gank this. But there's an Invis, there's an Invis super. And we're gonna see how Lanham lands his impales now. FY. And that's gonna be a huge wave coming in here. The wards as well as the as well as the Treants. And they're gonna banish and, and we steal the banish. I'm not so sure that's the best spell to steal. I mean call down would have been a better skill. And now the tower is gonna slowly chip away, and all the banners wants to just do good work. Oh, chant denied, son. Falls idolatry. He says, smack talk, smack talk everywhere. Burning. It's gonna pick up his BKB. Midas up on ice, ice, ice. Burning just gonna flutter away, and he's gonna be fine. Lanham, meanwhile, magic stick. Server ward as well. VG Gaming Sila. Top. He's working towards his Radiance, he really has the Dyer's Relic very very soon, he wants that attack. as quick as possible so he doesn't want to be involved in any more fights, just gonna be farming up one to two more creep waves will do the job. This is what happens when you're doing for the Midas, it does slow you down if you fall behind from your initial rush. Super, still very very far from his very far from his orchid, he flies out a quarter staff, but it's not gonna be enough. He's gonna disassemble the Sobi mask or the Ring of Basilius to try and get up that Oblivion staff number one. But he still needs number two as well as the recipe, the piece of paper that puts everything together. And he doesn't really get it just yet. He's gonna disassemble now. Nope, gonna keep the Ring of Bassi on himself. Three armor is a pretty nice, sweet deal. Gonna stung and lose some HP. Now it's gonna be ticking away for five for the level. And it's a level two poison thing, so it does annoy a little bit. Mushi, meanwhile. As the mechanism. Bristle back. Earn of Shadows. What's he gonna go for? He's got Treads, he's got uh, he's got Earn of Shadows. DK is sitting back and farming. Now they're gonna pour it on in. Silo in trouble. This could be trouble. Yep, the homing missile, the stunny thing is gonna catch him. And now body block from Isaac Sight. He tries to go for the SC2 surround, doesn't get it. And the rocket just not flying in time. This is why homing missile is such a trash thing. The only, the only time where homing missile is good is in Wraith Knight. That's the only time it's good hits for half your HP and it hurts like hell but other than that homing missile is just absolute ass and 9 to 4 now 15 minutes in 
I'll check out the gold graph again, and it's still the same. Oh, we hear a zip. I hear a zip. Where's zip? Oh no, it's just him. Zipping up the higher ground net worth. Burning sitting 8.2k. It's gonna be 5.7k for Silo. Silo is just not having the farm he really wants. He has his relic now, he can feel a little bit safer about dying. But still, you don't really want to die. That's still hard carry. And now burning. Gonna throw out the missile here. We're gonna see how good Super is at dodging rockets. Alright, here we go. Just like Wraith Knight, we trained for this. We trained for this. We even earned fragments. Come on, Super, you can do this. Teammates, aim the rockets. Don't let Tao do that. Now, so it's gonna fly it all the way back to base there. Lose a little bit of health, get stunned <laughs> outside the well. Not very, very nice. But still, it's not gonna be that big a deal. Sila, 500 gold, Dying very close to Radiance. And once he gets Radiance, he can look to contest this kind of split pushing style a little bit more. But DK are just really exerting a lot of pressure here. The Gyrocopter just bombarding this entire wave. The Quill Spray, gonna slow it down a little bit. The Fate Ball as well. But our DK, it's not. Uh, just not able to do that much on his bristleback right now. There's a lot of birds coming out from DK. He did die a lot early game, and DK's Ice 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 gets a little bit more bonus from Mushi's OD. So a little bit of an energy, energy battery there. The tornado is going to fly out. The homing missile does fly. Chen is very far out of position, and now he gets gilled up. That's going to be trouble. Mana burn as well. The nuclear blast is going to land on our TK as well. Chen is just a phasing. I think, no, he just killed him with the wrath of nature. Wow. The plays from the people. Oh, I am dangerous. And now our TK. It's gonna have to back off that very low in HP. Super is gonna zip down the low ground as well. And DK, once again, 10 4. Looking good. And they're gonna fly out of there. 10 4, 16 minutes in. They take another tier 2 tower. They take all the, they've taken all the tier 1s. They've taken the tier 2. And losing map control early game against um, Nature's Prophet, especially not just any With Nature's me. Prophet. Ice 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 Nature's Prophet is not somewhere you wanna be in. And Vici looking really shaky in his best of 3. If they lose this, do they drop down? Not so sure. Well, we'll just have to find out later on in this rune. Mushi's gonna find that. And he's gonna work towards his four staff now. Picks up the staff of wizardry, Sila, with the face boots. Where's his radiance? Is it flying out to him? Yes, the piece of paper that turns the sacred relic into something shiny and glowy. It's gonna be flying out to him. So radiance up on him, but I'm not so sure what he can do. It's the gale to kite the bear, there's the blast from the orbs to kill off the bear. So I'm not so sure what they can actually do now. Here we go. That's gonna be a big, big push, but the bear is gonna radiance this thing off. It's trying to radiance this thing off, but it's gonna be doing a lot of work. And they have to stick together because there's a lot of nice ganking that can come out. There's Lanham, there's Nature's Prophet, and it's even a Gyrocopter. Ganking Gyrocopter coming up from Burning. Burning has set, adopted more of that aggressive style that he didn't have back in the old DK of the 4 Protect 1. Now he's back. Full force, he's the reformed burning, he's reburning, rekindled. Now they're gonna smoke right on top of an sentry ward, but no problem, it doesn't see them anymore. Due to patches from Ice Frog, land him. Land him could be caught. The map vision here for the Dire Side is not that spectacular right now, they just probably get a backdoor tower out of this. Yeah, they're gonna send a bear and burn this down. Yeah, they're gonna use this smoke just to ward up, and they know there's no one here, so they're just gonna push the wave. And there's a ping, so they know. Oh, yep, Ice and Slice. Yeah, they smoked here. They messed up, so they're not gonna find any kills here. Double boots. Fenrir, still no, still no mechanism. This is why they have been well, taking some pretty poor fights recently. And they will take Radiant's a tower here. And if Chen gets the last attack. hit, he could be getting this. Radiant's but it looks like DK want to defend this. <clears throat> Mushy with the Invis rune. This could be huge. They're gonna shoot the missile at the bear. And stunning the bear is a pretty big deal. I mean, but it's free money as well. Nope, they're gonna hit the bear. So the bear gets stunned. He's gonna swallow around for a while. Burning's gonna sit there in a creep wave. Are they gonna dive in? Mushy's there to save him, if anything. And super, super, super. The ghoul comes out. Are they gonna dive? Are they gonna dive? The tower goes down. Super zips on in. The nuclear launch. That's hit. And Mushy banishes him immediately. MMY in trouble. Is he gonna get zipped away? There's the mech. No mech here. He's getting brought down. Tested his fave. The bear is dead. 300 bucks. Goes the way, and our TK he tries to cool this out, but he's not gonna cool it. The burning gyrocopter with the BKB, the feeling good. Ice 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 surrounds him, Zerks now brings him down, and now there's another grip here. Someone in Spanish, who is it? And it's no, it's gonna be just OD himself. He dropped the ultimate, burns away all Storm's mana, but now he gets brought down. The Radiant's Bear doing a lot of work. Ice 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 just right clicking the victory. He will bring down Fenrir, he gets a double kill, and everyone running. Burning says to the chopper, and he's gonna chase away the bear, and Prophet will get out of there in time. The homing missile might. Actually, claim the bear. Nope, so fly all the way home. We'll see that. And burning, 
He's the only one alive, and he is standing tall and proud. 2,500 gold. He has 5 and 0. Burning. Do we see 10 0? The dream. Do we see 10 0? It's now 13 to 7. Vichy Gaming. Good fight for them, I must say, but they're still on the ropes here. 7,500 hey. behind. DK. Ice, ice, ice. He has the Midas. Get the Midas up. Is he gonna use it? Ah, uh, slipping on your on your. I uh, know. No. He just wanted that big creep. He just wanted to turn the Dark Troll Summoner into something nice. But RTK, not having the greatest of games, is zero four and four. A lot of falls in his life, and very inauspicious for Chinese himself. And so hope to change up that score, maybe by dying another time, change his fortunes a little bit. Thirteen to seven. I see a pumpkin tree and just hobbling over. <laughs> Converts it out of spite. Screw you, Ice Ice Slice! He says, and now Sila is gonna munch away at some pumpkins, feed his bear a mud golem. DK. Shadow Blade up on him, 1600 gold. I keep calling him DK, this is what Ice Ice Slice is doing to me. As a caster, you just look straight at the name on the right and call it out. So I just call him DK, but he's actually Ice Ice Ice. And now his own Trian is against him, he's gonna punch him away, and no, he's not gonna risk it. He's gonna Shadow Blade right away into the darkness. He goes FY, gonna get scouted out completely, he's gonna get body block. A lot of the Trian blocks here on the neutral camps. Is he gonna block? Yeah, this blocks the neutral camp. So we'll see, yeah, he's gonna sit it here and say, like, ah, ah, no, keep, no. Just as I say it, he. No, he blocks it anyway. So he actually manages to block it. And now the train is going to walk around, get converted. <laughs> the test is fave. And a pumpkin hit just rolls off. Rip. Land him. Urban Shadows, Arcane Boots. Burning. BKB as well as the Helm of Dominator. Will he get the oh, yes. Satanic first? Or will he go for the MKB first? We'll see. But now the wards are going to be such a pain here. MMY just sitting here with level 4 ward, level 2 gale, level 2 poison sting. And we're just sitting there and pushing back the wave there, keeping the wave on the side of the dire. ROTK is going for BKB, Heaven's Hailbird, maybe one of those. Heaven's Hailbird is one of those things, maybe. Uh, but 4 staff as well as mechanism. That's going to be. It's gonna be available here, and now the super will find that regeneration. We're gonna zip, zip, zip because he has an orchid now, so he can look to do some big money silences on to key heroes like OD or the Garo. Garo has BKB, so not so much. Nick's assassin maybe silence him up for five seconds. Tomato once again gonna have to deal with this pumpkin, so the war of the vegetables gonna be happening here. And the bull assassin's gonna get burnt away by the radiance bear. Look at this, just mass scouting. This is like drone scouting or overlord scouting for StarCraft. Ice Ice is just sending his brood everywhere. And he's been doing such a great job just scouting the map, making sure they spot rotations of VG Gaming squad everywhere, all around. And this might seem insignificant for a lot of people, but it's actually quite a big deal. And this is gonna hamper a lot of VG Gaming's early game aggression. Radiance and now they're gonna pummel away at the tower attack. and burning. Gonna drop the rocket on the ground, the big stunny missile is gonna Radiance fly at the bear, the tomato is gonna try and beat away at it, RTK bashes it once, and now it's gonna pick up speed, zoom, 24 bucks, 25. Storm Spirit kills off nature's profit, so I think that with all his great stuff, he does get brought down. The regeneration will bring him up to full health, but Shadow Blade or not, he gets dust in his eyes and he sneezes and he dies. So, super picking up something great for VG Gaming. Gonna elevate a little bit of the pressure that we're feeling on the lanes. The Radiance is gonna burn down this creep wave. Sila. What's he building towards now? He's got his Assault Curas on his way, Plate Mill, Hyper Stone. So the bear is going to be pummeling hard. The thing about facing an OD is he can really want a few shots your bear, few shots your bear really quickly, especially 300 bonus damage. He can really kill it fast. And now without Ice Ice Ice, they try and take Roshan. Tomato joining the fun as well. There's this Quill Spray, there's the Nasal Goo. They're going to try and sticky up Roshan, and we'll see how fast we can do this. It's really three stacks on him, four stacks on him. Roshan losing a lot of armor. Oh, Nick Assassin catching us out. FY, FY. He's going to die there. The Sentry does die, and he will go down. Storm Spray picks it up, and I hear a DP coming out here. Let's give it Rubik buy back into the game. And Nick Sassin immediately blown up. A little bit of a mistake there, burning. He's gonna try to zip away. He pops his BKB. They lose one support for a Roshan. It's okay for them. MMY running out of mana. Burns all his mana because of OD's ultimate. And here we go. Round two. Storm Spirit gonna come back in here. ROTK gets brought down. Ancients joining the fight as well. MMY gets the Storm Spirit respawn in space. But they want burning. They bring down Burst Super. They're gonna look for Mushi. Silence him as well. DK Ice Ice Ice. Looking to poke away at his face. You don't wanna waste all your mana. You don't wanna waste all your mana. And now Mushi balances, vanishes himself. Spikes to your butt. And you go down 17 to 10. A little bit of overextension here, but Super trying to go for the 1v4. Gets 
He's gonna get, uh, he's gonna get lifted up. There's a kill. There's the feel on him as a oh big send back here from the Chen. We'll save his life. The spike nearly narrowly missing his feet there. And well, 17 to 10. They lose Gyrocopter. They lose Lanham. Lanham bought back. Yeah, Lanham bought back. He jumped back into the fight here. And so one buyback each from the support. They lost Storm. They lost Lone Druid. They lost the Ages and lost Gyrocopter. So I think it's more towards DK's favor. 7,500 gold. DK Lanham. Just making the play so far. Has been finding out all the key supports. Ice exercise with his mass amount of scouting. Some tactical feeding, you must say. But otherwise, he's been doing a great job so far. Didn't really have to expand the buyback in that one. And Fenrir has the medallion up. He's gonna use the to tomato to smash the potato. And Lanham still in the middle lane. Mushi. What's he building towards? He's got 2,000 gold. Will he go for the ultimate orb first? No, he's going for a BKB. Picks up the hammer so he can drop it onto people. Gonna shoot the tomato. A lot of tomatoes now here in Dota land. FY. Gonna be smoked up here with Super. I'm gonna try and zip on here on Lamb. They're gonna get revealed right away. Super gets revealed. They're gonna zip on in. They dust up Ice Ice Ice. Ice 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 caught out of position. Once again, he's gonna get caught out. He gets a poke. He gets a spike poke. He pokes FY in the eye with his long scythe. And wishing it was a real scythe. And he'll get killed there. 17 to 11. Storm Spirit just making some plays. This game could still come back in BG Gaming's favor if they get some good fights off. Storm Spirit becomes a beast in the late game. And it's not it's not those kind of beasts that um, you really want to deal with. And Super. 2,000 gold on him. He could work towards a hex now. Probably gonna go for his BKB most likely. Yeah, gonna go for his BKB. Be immunized uh, by OD's damage. And OD's ultimate has been doing not a lot of damage to him, but actually burning all his mana, which is something of a problem for Storm Spirit himself. And Mushi going to be very close to his BKB now. Super gonna be swagging up. Nick Sassen picks up a regeneration. They want to pick him off. Will they get him? It's a question. Smoked up here. Smoked into Vendetta just in case you can't see me. And no. Zip, 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 zip. Gyrocopter. A little bit too early to show his face there. Burning. A little bit too early. But now, mate. Uh, it's just going to be chasing him away. Allowed him to farm. Push out the wave now. Mel Burning. going to scoot on along. Has a butterfly. And no one there in the dire side is even close. 3,000 gold behind is Scylla, and the bear right now, I'm not so sure how useful the bear is because the bear can just be shot uh, shot down very fast by the OD, and Fenrir with the Alpha Wolf, that's going to make it a lot quicker as well. Oh, well, no, what am I talking about? Um, has OD, yeah, OD with the orbs, he's going to be swing for about two to 300 per hit, and it's pure damage, the bear will not be surviving his Assault Curas or not, and I think he has his Assault now. Yeah, he has his Assault, so he's going to be able to do that much damage. FY with the Arcanes. Treans just hopping about. And I really like how Midas Gaming has died down quite a lot. No more supports for getting that item. As you can see, it's back to normal Dota. Everyone's sick and tired of the gold hand. Miser Misery's fad has died down. So RTK, meanwhile, still trying to work towards this item. So what's he have? He has got a Mithril Hammer. He's going for a BKB as well. So everyone going for BKB, it will uh, make Mushi really, really obsolete later on. And this is the thing that differentiates the Chinese games from the Korean games is, of course, first of all, the experience, which leads to a lot of these long drawn out games because both teams know how to respond to certain enemies and they know how to draw out the game. They know right. how to capitalize on their lineups and Mushi. Although DK had an early great start, BG Gaming, they knew how to hold the lines, they picked the right heroes for that, and they lane quite cleverly, I must say, as well. But still, this is pretty much, D I would say this is DK's game to lose. I heard Sykes is really close to his hex now, this stick he's holding will actually Warriors mean something, and yeah, it's going to port right down to the bottom and push it out, because he knows that he's not going to have any of that crossing into the radiant side. Now, yeah, he's going to get some farm, never missing a step, and he's going to pick up something? Oh, not going to pick up anything. He realizes he has two TPs already, so it doesn't matter. RTK. They're going to look to bring down a tower for the first time in there. Uh, well, not first time. He's going to try fortified. again at his middle tier one. The uh, Spirit Bear is going to try and bring it down the veil into Radiance the gale. It rhymes. Super. I'm going to blow up a whole bunch of treants. Pumpkin treants are going to die. More pumpkin treants going to join the fray here. Guess he's going to be poking away RTK. RTK got hit blocked here. You know, MMY. Yeah, so it's burning. All gonna be huddling together. I think they want to go for a group up push, but the tier one was pretty much a freebie uh, for the MVG side. Storm Spirit Remnant just keeping keeping watch. They're just sitting around. Cool. 
Ooh. All right, here we go. We're gonna push middle lane. The bear get a rocket set on him again. It's gonna be a level one rocket. A lot of stats in favor of it, and they're gonna do it. Yeah, just like Wraith Knight. See, guys, Wraith Knight is useful. Burning, 476. Gonna steal up homing missile. Ooh, big deal. Six ice. He has a cipher vice. Everything's rhyming today. All right, TK. Take a look to jump on burning. The homing missile once again. Oh, zipping! Burning a little bit too close to the tower, but there we go. Mushy is there for the distractions. And the homing missile is just not gonna work out too well, but now he gets killed. Now he's in the trouble. He's gonna get Badadan up as well, but now they're gonna back off because the veil has been laid on them. And the veil lasts for an exceedingly long time, so they don't really want to stick around and deal with that. Now they're losing health slowly on their tower. One damage! Oh, the ward does one damage. No, it does six. The damage range in that, he combat one of his treants once again, RTK just sitting there, they're gonna fortify this, and they're gonna try and make DK be a little bit impatient, go for a bad fight, the Sprout gonna be controlling the movement from the side of Ichi Gaming, another Veil gonna be dropped out, are there two Veils? No, there's only one Veil, but I think it just cooled down, Homing Missile is gonna be shot down, and all these guys obviously have been farming up that oh. Phantom frag those Phantom Fragments, Shining Fragments, and here we go, Tower this time I think it will not stand. Maybe go for the deny. The bear can do that. The bear, bear denied. Storm Spirit with the big Dyer's deny there. So I'm gonna lose a little bit of gold. Denied. The rocket's gonna let. It's gonna collect the rocket. Tries to bite the rocket. Doesn't work too well when you swallow bombs. And now they're gonna wait for Roshan. No, Roshan is still not up yet. Still about a minute to. There's a gem of True Sight. Just to make sure Ice 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 doesn't rat anymore. So Ice 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 is gonna stick with his team. He's gonna be eradicate. No more sand shrewing around. It's gonna farm up the ancients, farm up the dire ancients as well, and now VG Gaming find themselves in the spot they found themselves last game. They're stuck in their base with an okay amount of items. The net worth is not looking too hot, but it's balanced in terms of EXP. I see balance. By balance, I mean 5,000 in disadvantage, but it's kind of okay. But they're stuck in their base against the nature's profit. Not something you can deal with when they just slow chip you. DK are just playing it safe. They play nature's profit. They have the they have the Gyrocopter for the laydown of Hurt, there's MMY with his ward spam, and all that. All that is just gonna do damage to your tower eventually. And of course, the Venomous Wars do 1 damage to the tower, to 1 to 6 I think, per shot, but eventually all that's up, and your tower will go down. And now there's a stack here from Burning, he has been. It's, yeah, it's his own one, so maybe he shares control, and they will stack up the ancient stack for him. He even cleared the trees for this. And yep, ancients will spawn, so more ancients for burning. You can never have enough farm. DK does have a double damage here, so this could be an opening for a push, but burning is just gonna use this for now. What's this? Why is he dropping the bottle? This is bottle filled. Oh, yeah, they're gonna give burning the bottle. Gotta pick up the double damage. Oh, wow, this is clever! This is very clever, they give Burning the bottle because he has one more extra space so he can hold on to that double damage, doesn't waste the duration right now. And this is all the kind of strange strats we see from DK. A lot of times as well, we see, um, there was one time I saw Ice Ice Ice, I think, TP in the middle lane to give support to Mushi. And he passed this bottle to, uh, Mushi passed this bottle to him just as he TP'd in. I think so. Something along those lines. And it refilled the bottle. Because of the Fountain Aura regeneration, it still refills the bottle. So it's a free bottle regen. For ice, ice, ice. So it's so it's a really clever strat coming out here um, for the for ice, ice, ice. And now we see burning. He has a satanic now butterfly. He has double damage as well. It's gonna be really hard to bring him down the next fight. Roshan is up for contention. If anyone wants to go, and now land him. And then white. Yep, copying EE Sama. <laughs> burning is an EE Sama fanboy. <laughs> well. That's why I hope to see DK vs EE Sama It'll be the best merriest Christmas for the EE God and he will guide us onto victory, onto glory Hallowed is his mouse Burning, he's just gonna sit right here Creepy the creep, gonna say hi to Roshan Gonna be mixing up with the scary wildlife here in Roshan's pit it's just Roshan's toy cabinet. Oh, DK, Ice 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 gets trouble, zips in, very long zip, Ice Ice Ice, out of position, gets blown up, 
And they know. When they you know. strip away his leaves, nature's profit is just plain gnarly. Smack talk. BG Gaming looking to climb back slowly but surely into this game. And now they get a free rocket. 20 gold. Go to RTK, there's a BKB on this. So DK have to play this very carefully. If they don't play it right, the bottle. Oh. The double damage bottle. It's gonna be coming back here. So. Double damage! Yeah, double damage is forced to pop now. Hobby Missile going after the rocket. RTK, chase the rocket. Chase the rocket. Nope, the bear smashes it. 30 gold. So double damage here for uh, burning. So he's gonna keep the rune on him, but still. Is he gonna Are they gonna take a fight? If if Vichy are smart, they won't take this fight. They'll just sit back, wait for the DD to wear off, and then go. Sila, he's got a cloak for himself for a little bit of protection, a little bit from the cold as well, but bear shouldn't feel cold. Radiance, that's demon edge. I don't know, can bears go for rapiers? I don't think so. Oh, Alpha Wolf. Get it bashed. Insolent pup gets beaten up by Roshan. Roshan very glad he actually beat someone for once. And 17 to 12, this game dragging out really long. And the XP graphic is dropping down. Ooh, zip. Okay, don't scam it like that. Super, super looking for a dive there. Fy with the with the four stuff. Fy is a really great player on that Rubik. Burning. BKB butterfly satanic. And I say size looking for a quick snipe with the pig stick. And are they gonna find anything? Nope, they are not. There's a gem, so he has to be very very careful. I say size. And now, point this thing. So well. Roshan gonna be slowly chipped away here by Bernie. Bernie's just gonna use his little PSP on, fixed onto his gyrocopter and just shoot away. But now the potato from the enemy team is back in the fray. <laughs> it's not gonna do this, and Roshan's gonna beat up a lot of neutral creeps. Roshan getting a lot more kills than he normally is used to. The potato will die in the side there. Will probably become mash later on. If Roshan survives this for Christmas dinner. He just wants to sit here and enjoy Christmas, but people won't leave him alone. And now burning. Radiance burn. Coming out here onto the bear. RTK has to be careful. Salah. Super as well. BKB. FY. So they're, they're looking pretty well equipped for this next fight. And burning has to be very, very careful. Satanic or not, you really don't want to be dealing with this kind of nonsense. Going to be using. A, oh, nice haste rune. This is a good rune to have. And Illusion, once again, can be slowed down here by ROTK. ROTK wants to make sure these Illusions don't live to see another day. Hoping it's not going to be feeding, so burning, going to be feeding rocket gold. It's going to land on the bear. The bear's going to be sent back. Hoping it just isn't fast enough. Oh, and it gets brought down. Burning. It's going to be hitting that level where he can't not level up homie Missile anymore. I guess he can. Does it cost more mana? Yeah, it does. So you really don't want more of it. You just really want it for the stun as well as the harassment. And now Garacopter, he's going to go down middle. We're going to find any big fights here. They've been avoiding fights so far. It's 38 minutes. And when was the last kill? The last kill was Ice Ice dying around the 36, 34 minute mark. And now the bear. This time he won't dodge it. And Roshan, still going to be enjoying Christmas. Will he survive to lift the tail, to tell the tail? RTK is going to beat away this venomous ward. And let him. Arcane Boots, Gold Scepter on him, Ice Ice Ice, still no change in items, saving up for his new car, 4,000 gold on him, MMY, Veil, going for Aghanim Scepter, Aghanim Scepter, Venomancer is nothing to laugh at, it's really powerful, Mushi, no Hex on him, he has picked up his BKB, he's not really the new key OT, he just wants to burn Storm Spirit's mana, and now, BKB up on Super, he's gonna pull Ice Ice Ice, Ice 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 in trouble as well, and DK, they lose their Nature's Profit, right, on, right at the get go, Super dropping low, but all the BKBs were spent here, and now Ice 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 buys back. Ice 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 buys back. And Fenrir, he's got his mechanism, he's got his medallion of courage, ring of Basilius, a thousand gold. You can pick up your arcane boots now, you poor man. And now they're going for Roshan. They buy back, they know the BKBs are down, they go for the Roshan, they find another double damage. The rune of GG and the bear comes in. Are they gonna steal it? Nope, no zip in here from the Storm Spirit. They get our Aegis on Storm Spirit. And again, Aegis on burning. And now the bear is gonna go down. He's gonna lose 400 HP. Sila is gonna be in trouble there. He has to really back off. Now it gets banned. If he gets stunned, this is really bad. He doesn't have buyback. And now they're gonna send him back. Okay, they're gonna send him back. FY is gonna zip away in time. Storm Spirit out of the way as well. So Chen just doing work. But FY, he does not have TP. But Lanham's gonna run the wrong way, gonna check the wrong side, and FY is gonna survive. He's gonna run to the side shop to lift the tail to tail. And one TP stat. And super. Gonna hold on to his gem. Has been doing a good job so far. Very disciplined from his Storm Spirit, just zipping where he knows he can get a free kill. And well, Ice 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 has been free kills all the game long. And burning. 
BKB, Satanic, Butterfly, and an Aegis. He's just gonna sit here and shoot your tower. And now it goes zipping. Isaac Slice once again decides to feed. He's gonna go down by Mushi. Saves his life. He has 26 HP. You're not getting out of there. He's dead. He's no buyback. He's this time they're finding 4v5 but burning. He has another life, so it's about 5v5. The flat cannons are down. The slow comes out from la on Lanham. RTK is gonna goo this up. He wants this, but OD is gonna push him back. And now not gonna deal with this. Look at the Venomous Wars. This speaks so much. It's like Rasta is in the house. ROTK is gonna take a rocket. BKB is still up for him. And well they lose Ice 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 again. Burning? Aegis Immortal, he's dropped his bottle back. He's not so sure where he got it from. He picks up a big item. He picks up a sacred relic. Yes! Burning! No Abyssal Blade nonsense. None of that loader stuff. Get the divine rape here. You can do it. Do it, Burning. We know you're a real man. There are lots of fans here. How many fans are there in the chat right now? 18,000 of you guys. All of you want to see a burning rapier. And I want to see a burning rapier. But he is probably going to check it out. Don't pussy out on this one, man. Do it. I'll give you the golden spoon of feeding later on if you drop it. But burning, he's going to... Well... If he buys the rapier, it could be Merry Christmas to the VG fans for their rares will be secured. Or is it? Now burning. He's got a sacred relic. It's still a pretty hefty 60 damage. So still pretty nice to have in your inventory. You don't want to build up the rapier yet, but still. So what what happens to Red Master 2000? He is gonna try and go for a BKB. He's sick and tired of dying. Well, dying is not too fun, but then again, dying seems to be the name of the game. Three, seven, and ten. Pinches Prophet shouldn't be in the front lines poking people. He really shouldn't, and he has been getting caught out quite a fair bit this game. And I thought Burning was doing bad last game. MMY still going for the Aghanim Scepter slowly but surely. He has been saving up all this time, saving up on lunches, saving up on TPs, and just not buying the expensive stuff. Leaving it to leaving it to Nick's assassin Lanham to buy it up. So Lanham, you can see there, considerably poorer, sitting at Arcane's Gold Scepter, earned one, two, and nine. He's not been getting a lot of kills, not been doing a lot more. But RTK got a farm of a bunch of ancients, got run back to the middle lane, not at full health, but Urn will keep him up. And we're gonna look for a fight here. Bear has to be careful that now MKB on the bear. I think this, the constant deaths from Ice 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 might actually cost them this game if they're not careful. Burning now, yes, Sages, he really wants to go in. Ages for now, two minutes. So this is the time they want to go in. They drop the homing missile. The Radiant's bad rate is just doing a lot of work, man. Let's stun up the bear. Oh, they're baiting. Nope, nope, nope. So they're gonna try top now. They fail middle. They fail middle. You gotta try top. You gotta wrap up there. The, so the um, courier's gonna fly out something. It's ultimate up. Uh, no, it's a gem. Alright, it's a gem for MMY. He's gonna look to D Ward, try and blind out their opponents right now. But right now, their opponents are blind. Blind as heck. The only thing keeping them in this day is the daylight. And RTK gonna pick up the Talisman of Evasion. Now he's gonna finish up the um, Heaven's Hail, but slow down Ice Ice Ice. Maybe slow down Mushi as well. But he has BKB now. Now, 17 to 14. This is what I said about Chinese Dota. It's different from the Korean Dota I'm used to. It's exciting, it's very strategic. It's like Sun Tzu Bing Fa, or Art of War, if you guys uh, don't know what it is. They're gonna force stuff to creep. That's how bored they are, the players. 10,000 gold in favor of the Radiant. Now the Ice Ice please don't go to the front this time. I know you might have something, you might have gotten a, a, a fight over. Oh, Burning gets hexed! Oh, gets banished. Now that's a big play from uh, Mushi. This is why you pick OD. Oh, they force him in! They force him in! What a misstep! Now Burning in a lot of trouble. The BKB is gone. They force him out again. BKB on Burning. He pops the Satanic. He has the Divine Rapier. I didn't see this a moment ago. I apologize, but ROTK, this guy, he's a pig. He comes back into a bigger pick to die. And now 18 to 14. I suddenly got excited. He picked up the Divine Rapier. I didn't even see that because I was tripping. But he bought the Rapier. And now he's gonna go there. He's gonna click it down. Ages response in 50 gets reclaimed in 55. Will they be able to burst him? Will they be able to burst him? Now they zip in. Burning in trouble. No, they try and force stuff out. Burning, burning. No burning. He's gonna lose the ages. Yeah, he's gonna lose the ages. DK Lanham. He drops the double damage. The bear, the bear gets orbed. It gets brought down. Is there a resummon? Is there a resummon? There is a resummon. DK burning. You don't want to drop your divine rapier. You don't want to drop your divine rapier. You really don't want to drop your divine rapier. It gets banished. They save him. Super. He got. He gets banished, he gets killed, all his mana gone, and now he's in trouble. Is he gone? No, he's not. He's saved by his Rubik. Wow! Great play there, but they lose two sets of wreck. The Chen 
the Chen sent back into the Rubik Vanish at the last moment. Very, very well played from them, but they lose all their heroes burning. Why would you pick up the Rabia? Because we asked you to! Merry Christmas, all DK fans! And if he drops this, then Merry Christmas to VG fans, but still. Merry Christmas to us, it is a season to be jolly, I think someone has been drinking. He picks up the Divine Rapier when they're hit, and well, he's like, I exercise enough of your feats, he buys a Tesselator over BKB because why the hell not? And now he's gonna push out the bottom lane, he knows Super is not in any position to actually go for him. And Sila. ROTK. Heaven's Hill, but could be huge. BKB on Burning is down to 5 seconds. So if they could catch him out, Storm Sprint is one of those things that is really, really dangerous. Uh, it's one of those heroes that is very, very dangerous to actually play, um, play a Rapier against because he can just zip in. If you remember one of those games, what was that game? Um, oh yeah, VG Gaming. Yeah, VG Gaming where they played against um, Alliance in the EMS, EMS Finals. That was when, that was when Loader. His Gyrocopter got caught out because of the Storm Spirit. The Storm just zipped from all hell high and it zipped all the way in and forced out his BKB, forced out a reaction from them and after that zipped back in to just kill him off because the Storm Spirit's reach is just super super high and you really can't account for that. You have to huddle his 5 and sometimes with a BKB you really just can't huddle his 5. And now Burning, feeling a little bit scared. The regeneration is going to wear out now. The bear gets spotted out. MMY immediately pops the medallion on the bear and they want to bring him down the missile. The missile. ROTK, he has to be very careful, very far out there, if he gets hexed, he could be brought down because hex will bring out the bristle back immediately, so he has to be very very careful. Fenrir, we're going to convert up some duck trolls, and Treans are going to be spotted out, and now what are we going to see, Lanham? This is a tense moment, DK Ice 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 going into invisibility. Super, so far 7-2 on the Storm Spirit has not gotten caught out just yet. Roshan will be respawning very soon. We will have news of his arrival in a couple of seconds. Just wait, wait, and the clock will spawn... 2 minutes, 42 seconds. Alright, so Roshan, taking more time off, is gonna just sit around for quite a fair bit here. Nearly maximum time on that Roshan respawn, and Fenrir gonna have the mechanism as well as the Vladimir's. It's a little bit of buffs for his entire team. It's a very tough game for VG Gaming, no doubt. Once again, the scouting tree and it's gonna go all around. No surprises here for DK. Ice 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 constantly in Shadow Blade as far as possible so as to not get zipped on in and caught. So I think it's a pretty good smart uh, it's a smart move, but you really don't want to do it, especially when you're on in your own turf. But other than that, I think it's a pretty smart thing to constantly stay in this so as to not give the Storm Spirit any vision of you to zip Dyer's on in to reveal you with the gem. Attack. And Dyer's top barracks are under attack actually. And VG Gaming have to be very very careful here. Super, in a little bit of trouble. <laughs> if they're not careful, the top Rex doesn't regen. And because these, is these are Rex creeps, they're just going to sit here. It's like, ah, no pressure. We're going to have the Rex creeps pushing Dyer's into your Rex. Your Rex is going to go down. The bear attack. gets sent back. And now, Roshan unfortunately will be sending this out for about 2 more minutes. So 48 minutes in, we're going to check out that gold graph. We have that 20k advantage, just rock solid sitting up there. XP graph about the same. So heroes are pretty much balanced at this point because we've been dragging this game on. Last hit sitting at 400 for the lone druid, 380 for the gyrocopter. And net worth sitting at 28,000. And Burning has just been doing a lot of better job than Silo, and he's just sitting very very proud and tall here. He doesn't have the ages, he doesn't want to drop the rapier, but he is just sitting around here. He has the vitality booster. Is he going for a heart? Could be going for a heart. But he has satanic, so it's going to be very hard to burst him down. He's going for max tank ability because the divine rapier is all the why not in the world. And super really doesn't have a lot to burst him down right now. BKB timing down to 7. Lanham looking for some high ground snipes. Will they find it is the question. And Burning once again got to set up a homing missile. He is still level 1. He has refused to skill it. After this, he will have to. This is the last level of stats. Money for everyone! FY gets the last hit. Very lucky on him, but he's 0 and 5. Poor support Rubik. Like I said, solo support Rubik's do not really do that well. Really need a second rapier to make this game interesting. But Burning, nah, he's got a, he's got a limit to the madness. He's got a limit to his madness. And now the Divine Rapier. Oh, he find it. Oh wow, where did 
Where did these creeps come from, man? That's gonna be a big zig. They're gonna get blown up. I think they were pulled from a really far place. And now Sila, you can spend some more time farming. So, once again, we're back to the rice fields, guys. We're back to the rice fields. We're gonna talk about silly stuff now. We're not gonna talk about stupid stuff like Roshan and all that. He has cheese now. He's back here. He's looking to prepare himself up a nice pizza for Christmas. And people are gonna try and steal away that piece of cheese from him. And he already has the pizza crust. He's gonna just fill it in. He needs some. Pumpkins, that's great. We have some pumpkins. Do we have tomatoes? We have to look at the store and you think there where are the tomatoes. So and then we have the tomatoes, we have the to the potatoes. I'm not so sure if you put potatoes in there, but it will have to do. It will have to do Storm Spirit. Ooh, nope, nope. Roshan says, get out of my kitchen. Get the hell out of my kitchen, burning. And he will get out of there. So showing a little bit of respect to Roshan after all, it is the festive season. And there we go, zip on in, they're gonna look for Lanham. They look for Lanham, everyone turns gold, because why not burning with the BKB, with the Divine Rapier. He's gonna zip on, but now he's out of it. Heaven's Hilbert immediately stops his attack, but Storm Spirit, he's destroyed now. No more running away, they kill off the sand, they call off the Venomancer. Nick Assassin on the next one, Ice Ice Ice, double kill, killing spree. And ROTK, no running away, he gets orb down, Mushi blows him up. 23 to 15, and the Rapier Steel will not work out for them. Fenrir, GG from ROTK, he knows this is over. And now, Super, he tries to kill, aha, Ice Ice Ice, feet more, and he's gonna run away. I don't think he's gonna get away. Ooh, the spikes very close there for stuff. There's gonna be a GG, so Storm Spirit will survive, he will. Add one more death to Ice Ice Ice's score just out of spite. But VG Gaming, they will go home tonight just a little bit sadder on Christmas Day. But then again, China, I don't think they have Christmas, which is why I'm here casting the game. The Feng Yun Dota 2 tournament, DK, it's gonna be uh, taking this one 2 0. Hard fought, I must say. It's not as easy as to be dismissed as a 2 0 stomp, but it was a pretty long match out, drawn out here by VG Gaming. Well, in the end, DK's execution, the plays all stellar, and Gyrocopter just manning the hell up. So Birding, he became a man today, and he took the win here for VG, uh, against from VG. And well, big plays from them, 2-0, congratulations DK. Next up will be DT versus LGD, is it China? I think it's LGD China. So looking forward to that. DT are no slouches, they have taken games of Tung Fu before, and I believe LGD themselves. So they are no slouches, they are a little bit of underdogs in the Chinese scene, but we'll look to see what they can actually pull off. I love to see underdog matches, serious matches are fun, but when it gets too serious, it gets a little bit tiring. But we'll see how the DT versus LGD matchup will come up soon. A little bit of a break before that, and I'll give you some music, and if you like my casting, I'm Lysander Sonora, follow me on my Twitter, like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitch. All the good stuff, really great to have you all here on BTS today. Remember to follow them for more updates by Elgato, and all that stuff, I buy power, and not ha. Plug, plug, plug. Alright, Merry Christmas, guys! For you guys that are still in Christmas zones. And I'll see you guys next game. Much love and kappa.